So you want to start YouTube automation and you want to start making videos yourself recording at home. So how do you actually do the keyword research? What do you make your videos about? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer that question. All right. So first thing you want to do is you want to open an incognito window in Google Chrome. So you can do that by going to Chrome file new incognito window. OK, or just shift command N. Now, once you're here, this is going to be basically like a clean slate, right? There's going to be no recommendations that are personal to you. Now, we need this because it's very important for the keyword research because, you know, the search bar is adapted to um, your history, basically, right? The results you're going to see on YouTube are very specific to your accounts. Here, here's this where it gets interesting. So first you want to figure out what's your niche. Obviously, what do you want to make your videos about? But let's say that you want to go for the highest CPM videos. Well, what are the highest CPM videos? Highest CPM videos are videos about project management software, web development, um, so for example, let's say you want to do like Asana, right? That's a software. So we say Asana, how to, right? And here we're going to see a bunch of keywords. So Asana, how to use, organize my tasks, etc. So first what you can do is you can create these videos, right? So these are all video ideas. For example, if we search this one, we can see that there are going to be videos. Uh, that are covering this keyword. So for example, take a look at this, how to organize my tasks, right? The channel is called how to Wi-Fi 36 views six months ago. So you can actually click through onto this channel. And if you go to social blade, and you copy their channel URL, and you paste it in here, Let's see how many they're getting. All right, so they're getting about 130,000 views in the last 30 days, which is really good. So what you can do as well is you can take a look at their recent videos. So you can see they posted two weeks ago and then before that as well. So if you look at the last, maybe like the videos that were posted in the last three months or so. So for example, this one, how to find someone on Instagram with phone number. 6k views two months ago and you can see the difference there's the one video posted here 15 views and one video posted before that 11 views so yeah and there's one here for seven and a half seven and a half thousand so you know clear not clearly but there is a fair chance that if you make this or this video you could have a chance to rank your video as well um yeah so this is another way to do this now let's take a look as well so Asana how to and then let's say, for example, you can go to alphabet method. So Q, nothing, W, how Asana works. Okay, E, Asana, how to export tasks, how to edit tasks, etc. So what you can start doing is you can start just going down the alphabet like this, and you can start writing down the keywords. Now you won't know exactly which videos are going to rank before you actually make the video and you publish the video. So what I recommend at the moment is to just like make basically videos about all of the things, you know what I mean? And then once you do start like uploading them, um, then you can start looking at the data. So let's take a look actually at my channel. So All right, so this is my YouTube automation channel. I've started uploading here quite recently, so it's fairly new. But if we go to the revenue, you can see that there was a big spike in revenue here out of like just random 566 and then dip. And now it's been actually, it seems like it's going in an upward trajectory. So 53 cents, 70 cents. And if we look at the last 90 days, we can see that there is a nice increase here. You can see that I was posting videos here, no traction. And then now once I've changed the strategy after I started talking to Yuri and, you know, Hessel, um, I actually figured out like what I should be doing. So what I showed you just now is exactly what I do basically. Right. And so the RPM is climbing, the revenue is climbing, and now it's really just all down to the views. So um, you can see that I'm getting 35 views now per 48 hours, which is really nothing but, um, 
once some videos rank, so for example, this video seems to be ranking, kind of, it already made 50 cents, it got 26 views, you can see it's a pretty good retention. So this video has a fair chance of ranking, let's see how it goes. Um, if it does, then this video is gonna keep making me money on years to come. And let me actually show you another example from my main channel of what I mean by when I say that a video ranks. So let's go to my most viewed video and it's going to be this one, how to drop ship on Amazon. This is my favorite example. So um, it has 32,000 views, 120 comments, and you can see that there's a very big dislike ratio to like, but that's actually not uh, actually true because I just got attacked by, uh, by a hater, basically. So if we go to the analytics, and if we take a look at this, so this is crazy. I posted this video on March 2020, right? So more than two years ago now. And this video took some time and it started ranking and it's bringing in um, views all the way up until this day, right? And you can see this video has already made 750 euros. So I posted it two years ago. It started monetizing one year ago in April 2021, right? Just a little, a little over a year and it has brought in 750. Now, the RPM is really high on this video, so the RPM is 23 euros here, which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so this is what I mean when I say that a video, like once it starts ranking, is gonna bring in consistent revenue. So like I haven't touched this video, and just keeps making me money all the time. And this is an approach that I'm taking with the second channel that I showed you here, because you know, um, I'm not making actually the videos here myself. The videos here are fully automated. So I have um, a guy, his name is Wasim. He's now actually responsible for making these videos. So all I do is just I research different keywords, different um, uh, project management softwares and web development websites and whatever. And then I look at the keywords, compile a list, send it to him. He records it, edits it, and then he has the thumbnail um, template and then he just uploads the video. So that's what he does. And, you know, eventually some videos are going to rank and they're going to pay off and I'm paying about $3 per video. So yeah, this is very, very exciting. And uh, I'm really excited to grow this channel as well. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.